Hi all, in this video, we'll learn how to search and retrieve data based on user input in the Zoho Creator app. Let's consider the example of an order processing app to demonstrate this use case. Assume the store admin wants to retrieve information related to an order. It can be viewed directly in the report. However, the report will contain the order details of multiple customers. Therefore, we can create a search interface using a page to display the relevant order details on entering the order ID. The screen you see now is the order form used to collect customer orders. This single line field generates a unique order ID for every order placed. Now, let's create a search interface based on this order ID field so the order details can be retrieved anytime by entering the order ID. The search results can be displayed in two ways by passing a search input to a page parameter, by filtering the report using the search input. Let's look at first the method which works by passing the search input to a page parameter. This method involves four simple steps. Create a page, add a parameter to the page, embed the search element and report, pass the parameter to the URL to display the search results. Let's begin by creating a new page. Access the editor, click on the plus icon and choose page. Create a blank page and name it search order page. Next, go to the page properties by clicking on the gear icon in the top right corner. Here, we need to set a parameter name so it can be later added to the URL to display filtered results based on the search value entered. A search parameter is a variable that holds the value entered by the user. Click on add parameter, give a name and add it as a parameter. The next step is to embed the search element and the report we want to search the data from onto the page. Select the search element and choose your preferred search bar style. Select page and the target page. We'll choose to show the search results on the same page. Let's choose to open and display the results in the same window. Next, choose the report element and select the all orders report from the drop down as this is the report based on which we want to search the data. Embed it as a report on the page. Under the Properties tab, you can select actions that should be visible to the user on the report. Lastly, we must pass the search parameter we created to the URL to display the relevant search result. A search parameter is a variable that holds the value entered by the user. To do that, select the Filter tab. Click on Add Filter and set the criteria as order ID equals input.param. We are specifying a filter to pass the entered order ID to the parameter named param. Click Done. Let's see how the search interface works on our app. Let's enter a few order IDs from the all orders report. As we see, on clicking the search button, the page displays the relevant record information on the report. Next, let's look at how you can filter the report and display the search result. This can be achieved in two easy steps. Creating a page and embedding and configuring the search element. Let's follow the same steps to create a new page. Access the editor, click on the plus icon and choose page. Create a blank page and name it search order report. Next, we need to embed and configure the search element. To do that, select the search element and choose your preferred search bar style. Choose report under the properties and select the target report. Set the criteria as order ID equals input dot search string. We do this because we want creator to search for the string we type on the search element in the order ID field of the all orders report. Click done. Let's choose to display the search results in a pop-up window. You can also specify a placeholder value to make the search bar more visually appealing. Click Done. Let's see how the search interface works on the live app. The All Orders report has a sample data in it. Let's test the search interface by entering an order ID from this report. On clicking the search button, the page displays the relevant record information in a pop-up window. Therefore, our configuration works perfectly on the app. But, in case you enter an invalid order ID, you won't be able to see any data. 
This is because the record is fetched based on the order ID field from the All Orders report. If that is invalid, there won't be any related record available to fetch. Hence, it displays no data available. This way, you can restrict users to only accessing the required details. This is just one scenario where using the search interface can be beneficial. Similarly, you can create a variety of search interfaces to suit your unique business needs. That's all for this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zoho Creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is released. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another video.